Alrighty, let's play this in full first. There's sound. Hi, can I please do the house salad? Yep, you got it. And um, can I do a piece of bread on the bottom and on the top, please? Okay. Maybe maybe just throw in a piece of meat in the middle, with uh with a piece, with some cheese on it. You know? Why not? So uh, cheeseburger? No, I said a house salad. Hi, can I please do the house salad? All right, all right. Let me bring down the wall just a tad. So watching this. Hi, can I please do the house salad? Yep, you got it. My impression is that there's a hell bit of a constant back and forth with just the general feel of the posing of this character. If that makes sense. Like you're here and then you kind of look over and back and then look over and back and then over here and then over again. And then just there's constant back and forth, like that type of stuff here to here. And sometimes it's also a bit too in sync. Hold on. Hi, can I please do the house salad? Yep, you got it. Like that. Do the house salad? Yep, you got it. So just watch out when he says, "Yep, you got it." It's just it's it's right in sync with yep, this move here. And I think. Hi, can I please do the house salad? Yep, you got it. And um. What you could do? Here's just a thinking out loud, because I'm I'm just concerned that there's this constant movement that we never have any type of contrast and still moment and it's slightly accentuated now that we're in the splinier mode some cheese on it you know why not so uh... what i like is definitely this here that is there's this feeling of hunch over and then towards the end like this in terms of the confidence cheese on it you know why not so uh... it might end up being a bit so... fast going back here so this could already be instead of that straight and only this lean, you could potentially already start to have him lean back. So he's a bit more shoulder up, a bit more like, hey, hey what do you think? And then he just has a bit less distance to go back. And it's almost a bit of a less back, but more to the right and back adjustment. Just kind of just kind of leaning back a bit more. You might also get away with maybe on that max this almost feels like he's super reclined and that hurts the neck a bit no because then imagine how is he getting up here that's like a that's a ginormous ab contraction there <laughs> so you might also have to press that elbow down and maybe parts of here that he pushes himself up through his arms as well i would think of the mechanics of this and this wouldn't be clean i mean you can totally be leaning over and pushing mostly with this arm getting a bit flustered so that that type of pose is maybe more around here ish and then you get to that because right now you're in this and if i put in onion skinning and we move forward see there's no real difference besides going up with the head and down so imagine that this is more like <gasps> more like that so there's, there's a bit more of a lean and then when you do this then you have just a slight more of a lean this way. So you have a bit more contrast. It's not just the like, a raising of shoulders and the head down. But I think, what if? Let's go back to what I was wanted to say before. Hi, can I please do the house salad? Yep, you got it. And um, can I do a piece of bread on the bottom and on the top, please? There's something about potentially what you could try minimizing the amount of movements through there just a bit more. So he's a bit more fidgety, a bit more nervous, but again, he doesn't want to draw too much attention to himself. And he just has little head turns, little arm gestures. And um, can I do a piece of bread on the bottom and on the top, please? And watch out for framing too. We're fairly high on that arm. I mean, it's clear in terms of silhouette. That's the good thing. Bottom and on the top, please. Okay. Maybe, maybe just throw in a... So maybe what you can do, because I don't want to, you know, like take everything out. I think it might just be you do this. Hi, can I please do the house salad? Yep, you got it. And I would then reduce that. I'll probably go from here. Yep, you got it. So th yeah, thinking out loud, it's a bit of a tiny changes and bigger changes, but obviously all subjective. And you can you can let me know what you um, what you want to keep. Not solely up to you, obviously. So you would keep this. Hi, can I please do the house salad? But then keep him here. It's almost like and also watch out how much we go with the pupils. You want to cheat those a bit more towards us. Even if you have someone standing here, 
you know, I'm just going to actually help bring those eyeballs a bit over there. But imagine he's here and he's waiting for approval. Yep, you got it. Until he says, yep, you got it. So you could have something where he's here. And then once he says, yep, you got it. Then you go back only maybe this much. Just this. Yep, you got it. So none of that here. Can I do a piece of bread? So that imagine. So right, he's here. Okay, so maybe this pose. Like that's... That's as far forward as he as he gets from here. So you don't go further down, further down, further down, none of that. And then, so there we go. So once you have this reaction of, ah, oh, he would already be this far, right? So then you just have that reaction from here on and just go a bit more to the left. And then that way, again, it will minimize the amount of movement you have from here to here. Do a piece of bread on the bottom and on the top. And then we can keep that. Okay. Watch out in your betweens there. Well, that's no, okay. I was looking at the eye line, but. Okay. Maybe, maybe just throw in. And then it would be the same thing here. So he is here. And that's, you know, that's the amount of lean he has. And he's he's getting a bit more confidence, right? And like actually keep that line since I'm on uh, onion skinning here. And then instead of going all the way back here to avoid this constant back and forth, he is here and then that moment of thinking is kind of just within here maybe maybe this much of a change and then maybe mostly in the head less in the body you can have a bit more of a head turn and then when he comes back you know he can be slightly back and when you get into this get back to this pose maybe a bit further out so it's almost also if this is the waiter and he starts off hunched over he gets a bit more confident and it's it's kind of leaning towards the end a bit more towards the waiter, right? This is your dividing, whoa, this is me moving this. This is the dividing line. I'm gonna be all super messy here. How about this? This is the dividing line of your character. And then at the very beginning, he's more in this area, away from the waiter. He doesn't want confrontation, doesn't want to go too close. He doesn't have the confidence. And then as the shop progresses, and he gets you know straight and more confident. He's also leaning more. Let's go with this guy. Leaning a bit more towards the waiter. This looks so messy. I hope that makes sense. Throw in. So when he does that, the throw in, then you're you're starting to really lean towards the guy. It's almost like he wants to grab his him, him and bring him close. Like, okay, listen to me. I want to add this, this, and this. Uh, piece of meat in the middle. With uh with the with some cheese on it, you know. See, and in that way, imagine how he does this. You, you, you will be still in that lean, and it might potentially also help you with the pose, potentially, to give us a bit more of a, a nicer silhouette. But he will be there so that when this happens, it's less of a move over, right, from this line to this line. It's more like he is already there, but the arm is up, and all he does is kind of like, plop down he's already in that lean he's already that confident and that close to the waiter who's here and then he can just kind of plop down into huh yeah right and into this i hope that makes sense and then when he's go, oh, oh no 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 the salad that's when you go from here to here into back into the straight and then at the very end you're back into the hunched over the other way i hope that makes sense but again, very all subject, uh, subjective, but that's my main impression when I was watching this again, that there's just a lot of we, 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 either from where you are back to the same spot or where you are a bit here and then again and a bit over. It's just that wavy back and forth is a bit my concern. But of course, you can totally overrule and just keep it. <laughs> that's just my thought there. Uh, let me know what you think. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whatever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.